So here we're printing um, the distal phalanx of our thumb mm -hmm. that will have uh, pressure sensors and also will have some electronics that are needed for us to actually read the capacity value of the sensor so we can rely back to a microcontroller and then we can further process it. Well, to do that, to achieve that, we actually have to print multiple uh, materials, not just plastic. Mm -hmm. So every now and then we are swapping materials from the extruder and the nozzle. Mm -hmm. So I, one time we can print uh, a polymer and then I can swap it to a metal uh, based uh, material so I can make conductive and plastics all together at the same time. Yeah. So could you print an entire prosthetic in, in this lab? Yes, actually we can. We can just uh, print whatever we want. We can have all the freedom of our designs. So this is one uh, that we have made particularly to embed all the electronics and components inside of it. Uh, in that kind of research, you cannot expect uh, huge leaps you need to have a small step at a time. So in that case, we would say about in five years, we can see some really 3D printing prosthetics with a lot of capabilities on uh, sensors. So, so as you can see, it's really soft on the bottom. Oh yeah. And inside there is a capacitive sensor connected to electronics. And you can see there, there is my gap where I can have my electronics that is reading the capacity value and then I can further uh, integrate with, micro with electronics that I can use it as a feedback for pressure sensors for prosthetic hands. Okay, so this is our design. It has the capacitive sensors that is this area mm -hmm. underneath and this is the embedded electronic. So if we want to show what's happening in reality inside that, we can see here that this is the structure that we have. Oh, wow. So here is the electrode that is the capacitive connected to an IC. And here are the electronics that I have mentioned before that is coming out. And I can control the hand and actually understand what is the pressure applied to this surface. So these ones are resistors that I cannot really print. So I have to place them. In that case, what I'm doing, I'm posing uh, the print at that specific layer and I'm placing the electronics inside the structure and then I can resume the print to embed the whole structure again and continue and continue on until the whole thing is finished.